<laughs> One of the first things you learn upon setting foot on the hills or beaches of Jurong Western Australia is the hair curling, sound blocking wind. After all, it is the windsurfing capital. Waves. A common joke in Jurong is that Fremantle gets a doctor while Jurong gets the whole hospital. Why is the wind in Jurong so intense? Even in comparison to other wind famous places in the country like Korea, you might have heard some bullshit fake news facts about downwind south gates and coastal locations. Don't believe any of this, as there is a much more reasonable and true explanation for Jolt's high levels of wind. This town is full of airbending wind supremacists. See that over there? Some people think that's a storage facility for port goods, but they're sheep. The real truth is, that's where they make the wind. All long ago, all the elements lived in harmony. Kalgoorlie and their golden earth. Port Hedland and their endless sun. The entirety of Queensland and their constant flooding. And of course, Jolt with their incessant, fence-breaking wind. Everything hasn't changed. It has always been that way since humans existed. Can I have a show of hands? On who has lost or broken something from the wind here? Like, come on. Fences fall, things blow, and man, I do struggle to throw things in the bin without them flying away. The wind of this town is a massive characterizing factor of our existence. I remember going to the beach a few days in a row, then leaving town for several months. And even on the very last day away from Jolly, I still had sand lodged in the recesses of my hair like shrapnel from a frag grenade. I thought that leaving the red dirt of the builder would eliminate the constant dirtiness that my car obtained. But in Jolly, it appears that dirt, in spite of being much less colourful, is even more keen than up north to lodge itself incessantly within the body of my vehicle. Marvelous. Look at this. To this day, I am unsure as to whether or not my hair is genetically predisposed to being curly or whether the wind of this town from my early childhood has forced it permanently into a curliness. And I fear that I'll take that lack of knowledge to my grave. Yeah.